Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Mathlete. In this video we will learn about the discriminant. Now a discriminant is basically a tool that helps us discriminate between the type of x-intercepts or the type of roots that a quadratic curve may have. Now there are three possibilities. Number one is what will happen if the discriminant comes out to be greater than zero. Now remember, uh, before I get to, to the first possibility, b is the coefficient of x, whatever the value here may be, and a is the coefficient of x square, and c is the constant. This is the formula for discriminant. Now, this, as you know, may give you three possible results. It could either come out to be positive, it could either come out to be negative, or zero. So in this case, what if b square minus 4ac comes out to be equal to zero? In this case, our quadratic curve will be cutting the x-axis at two different points, or you can say that it will have two real roots. I'll call one x1 and the other x2. Or if it's a maximum curve, it'll look something like this. Two points at which it's cutting the x-axis, x1, x2 x-axis. Now you can notice that the common bit here is that they're both cutting the x-axis at two unique points. Now the terminology that may be used is uh, it could be it could say that it has real and distinct roots. It could say that it has real and unique or simply it could say that it has two real roots. Moving on, number two. What if the discriminant comes out to be equal to zero? Oops, b square minus 4ac is equal to zero. In this case, our quadratic curve will be tangent to the x-axis, or you could say that it will, it will meet the x-axis at only one point. So it looks something like this. This is the point at which it's just touching the x-axis. I'll call it x1. This is what it will look like if it's a minimum curve and if it's a maximum curve you can I'm sure you can pretty much imagine. Yep you got that right. No no not that. It will look like this. Yes. This is the point at which it is touching the x-axis. It's not crossing the x-axis, it is only touching the x-axis or you could say that it is tangent to the x-axis. Now the terminology that may be used here is number one tangent to the x-axis. This is the keyword to watch out for or one real root or one real root or repeating roots. These are the keywords to watch out for. Repeating roots. Moving on to the third case. Number three is b square minus 4ac comes out to be less than zero. This is the only possibility that's left. In this case, our quadratic curve will neither touch or even intercept the x-axis. So if it's a minimum curve, it will be lying above the x-axis, or if it's a maximum curve, it will be lying below the x-axis. This is what it will look like. Now the keywords to watch out for over here, or in this case, are no real roots, no real roots, imaginary roots, imaginary roots, and depending on the nature of the curve, lies above or below the x-axis. These are the three possible cases of a discriminant. Stay tuned. In the next video, I will do a couple of examples to further strengthen our understanding of the discriminant. Thank you and happy learning.